Okay, folks, Captain Paul here with one of our uh, favorite uh, YouTube um, subscribers here, Harold. Harold's been around the channel for about three years, and today I'm going to make my predictions for the 2024 market, so stay tuned here and watch the entire video. Uh, this week, uh, we, me and Harold are working on, uh, he, what'd you buy at Cape Dory, right? Sea Dory. Sea Dory, and he's doing America's Great Loop right now, so next week's video is gonna be um, you know, does that perfect boat exist? Because with Harold and Karen here, we're going to sit down with both of them and talk about what uh, their how th how they got their boat. Because they you spent tens of thousands uh, yes. doing surveys and blah blah blah. Anyway, we'll talk about that all next week. Trying to find that perfect boat and it doesn't exist is what you found out. No, you just got to pick one and go. Is basically what it is. I'm kind of dealing that with that right now with the 2004 main ship. You know this. These people, they, I think you can over-educate yourself. You can. And in this market, I think sometimes that'll kill, kill kills deals. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, this has got to be perfect. This has got to be It doesn't exist. No. Anyway, uh, this week, we're going to really talk about and break down uh, the market, the 2024 market. Uh, we got an election year coming up. Whew. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Our country's in a little bit of trouble. God bless us all. Yeah, yeah. God bless us all. Anyway, uh, my New Year's resolution, what's yours this year? Just to live life the best that I can every day. Okay, and mine, last year, Harold, you know this, well, you can see from the gray goose up there on the shelf, <laughs> was uh, last year I said no more alcohol, and I stuck to it. I haven't drank any alcohol this year, um, and, uh, and I've gone to the gym. This next year, I believe life, uh, God has a journey for me, uh, and you guys are going to be hearing more about this uh, as we go here because... Um, one of my uh, big uh, things, New Year's resolution this year, and I'm on like day 78 with Father Mike uh, on the Bible. First thing I do every single morning when I, as I'm waking up is I spend a half an hour listening to the scripture. So I want to get closer to uh, God and my God. And uh, so I'm going to finish the Old Testament. That's one of my big things on my life. And I'm on day 78 right now. And it's a 360, you know, a one-year uh, re oh, okay. reading plan. So I'm just about, I'm at day 78 right now. And then uh, I have friends helping me. I have a new friend, uh, Tammy. I uh, hope you guys get to meet her on the channel here. She's been on the boat now a couple times, actually, I think. Um, and you'll get to meet her. We'll do a barbecue with her. All right. Um, but she's uh, going to help me with uh, some of that studying of the scriptures and stuff like that. So I, I'm going to enjoy that. And finally, I met a friend down here in the Keys, so that's fun, too. Yeah, it is. Uh, it really is. So somebody to spend a little bit of time with, and, and we, we enjoy our texts every day and, and talking and stuff like that. So also, uh, another big thing for me is eating healthier. I, that's one of my uh, New Year's resolutions, is to eat healthier. So, And if I think if I can treat the alcohol like I do sugar, then I think I'm going to find. Anyway, today's video... Let's break down the 2024 market. And, uh, you know, like I said, I'm with Harold here. Um, also, uh, me and Harold are going to put uh, solar panels on the Cape. Sea Dory, yeah. Yeah, the Sea Dory. Um, because he wants to make it into a non grid. And we're going to do that in the Patreon part of the channel. So, for you Patreons, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, we'll finish up. You'll see that video actually come out today, too, probably, or tomorrow. Um, because we went out and measured for panels the other day because we want to put the maximum amount of, of solar that we can on there to, to maximize it for you guys. Anyway, and then look forward to next week's uh, video with uh, uh, Harold and Karen uh, talking about the perfect boat that doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because this week's video is really about the market and breaking the market down uh, for 2024. I think we're going to see more of the same as 2023. I think, think we're going to could see some little panic sailing. Um, and I'm going to just talk about two boats here real quick. One is, uh, or even three, Blue Max uh, was sold just, just recently, full asking price. They put it on my channel, um, and it sold. They were asking 80 and it sold for 80 um, And same thing with uh, the 2004 main ship that uh, Jerry has for sale. He put it up for 220 it sold for 220 Now, the thing is, these boats will continue in the 2024 market the same way. I think that the people that think that they're going to reach out and get a 2004 main ship uh, with brand new uh, heat pumps, brand new, uh, you know, all the service work's done on it. It's got a thousand, 990 hours. The guy just put a brand new refrigerator, all brand new electronics. 
the boat is state of the art. It's almost like buying a new boat. As close as you can, and all boats are gonna have you, like you said in next week's video, of finding the perfect boat. It's still not the perfect boat, but it's as, as close as you could possibly probably get. And somebody will is gonna pay 220 in this market, 220. They I, I live it. That I see it. Yeah. So if you think you're gonna get that boat in the 2024 market for $150,000, then save your money because it's not gonna happen. And we're not gonna go there, are we, no, Harold? No, there's no way. Not. There's too many Harolds that who's just retired. Um, uh, your Karen just retired within the last yes. couple of months. Yep. And then you guys said, hey, we're getting on a boat. We're gonna go do the loop. And it didn't matter at that point. You're buying a boat. Yes. If we you wanna go do the loop, you're gonna go buy the boat. And at that point, the money doesn't even matter. <clears throat> Just get the boat, go do the loop, and then whatever happens, happens. There's too many of you out there. Um, and there is even today, because I talk to hundreds of people uh, probably monthly, and some of, a lot of them are starting the loop and uh, are, are getting ready for the next year or two. And are, the, the, the used market sucks. There's not a lot of inventory. There's not a lot of good inventory. And something you've always told me from the very, very beginning, you should have just bought the first boat you walked on. Yes, in hindsight. I should have, but and I think it's always twenty twenty. I think a lot of people overeducate themselves, even watching my videos, um, and then they take it uh, to a level that maybe they shouldn't. Does that make sense? Just do what you're supposed to do. Not not get too involved. Like like the two thousand four uh, um, main ship right now, it could go bad, but I have backup buyers for that one too, so it doesn't matter. But I think this lady's overeducating herself. She's like she's way overthinking it. You know, like. The dinghy deal isn't perfect because Jerry didn't register it and you know, like so pass on the boat and Jerry will just take the dinghy, you know what I'm saying? But it's not about the dinghy. This is about that main ship that's in that kind of shape. Do you want to buy it or not? Does that make sense? And she's getting too hung up on that and on these little details like that, and she shouldn't be. She should just take the deal and, and run or walk away and we'll let the next guy buy the boat. That main ship is as close to a unicorn as you can get. Yeah, it really is. Um and people will see the value of it and they're still in the 2024 market going to pay the price for it. And so if you think you're going to get that for 150, 180, it's just not going to happen. Now you can get one in this market, I believe for 180, but it's going to have 4,000 hours on it. Um, it's not going to have new refrigerator and that's $2,000. It's not going to have new electronics. It's going to have the original electronics on it. It's not going to have new heat pumps. It's going to have the original heat pumps. All these things, when you get into a 20-year-old boat, need to be replaced. All that stuff will need to be done. And you'll be doing the loop in an old boat with old electronics and old stuff. And you'll be doing it, you know, at a reduced price. But you're also, the resale value of a boat when you start getting up close to that 5,000 hours is very, very slim. This boat with 990 hours on it, so when they finish the loop, they'll have, let's say, 15, 1,600 hours on the engine. They still got a sellable boat. Oh, very so there's a very lot of value to that in this market. Um, and it's very rare. You know, like you said, it's a unicorn. And But now the bargains that you're going to see, to, to, I think there's like somebody that has the opportunity to find like uh, a, 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 um, a southern estate here, the boat that I live on currently, which is a 50-foot marine trader. It's a 44. It's classified, but it's 50 overall. Can you find that at the bargain price that maybe I did? And then could you, I think that, I think we're getting close to that because I'm going to use the 63 uh, Meridian uh, uh, tr Marine Trader that I was on like a month ago now. Uh, I was on that boat and I think the asking price rate, I was right around that 300K mark. It's got five 5,000 hours on these, uh, you know, on Detroit's. So we mean you both know that that's, you know, they're at the end of their life. It's got uh, metal fuel tanks. It's got a sagging roof up on top. And I don't think in this market that that boat could sell for 150 even. I think I think that that owner is going to have to cut, get a gut check. And I think that boat is going to have to drop under 100 k because it needs that $200,000 restoration on it. It needs to get that sag out of the roof. Those motors need to be gone through. And somehow somebody someday is going to deal with those metal fuel tanks. Now, if it had fiberglass fuel tanks, that'd be different. But this one has steel fuel tanks in it. Um, so, and those will have to be dealt with. Now, Southern Estate here, I was extremely lucky. She's had her new fuel tanks. Her, the fuel tanks that are now are like 15 years old. Um, the engines are in really good, like 5,000 hours on them. All the coolings, uh, all, you know, my engine room, 
I wouldn't call it immaculate when I bought the boat, but it was pretty dang good. I could set my sandwich on top of the motor and, you know, you know, do it. Now it's at a whole other level, but I went in through change hoses, coolers, and all that stuff. It's the first thing I do when I buy a boat is I, I go through my cooling system. It's, to me, it's the most important thing. I watch do. you doing a loop princess. Yeah, it's, it's like the most important thing uh, on a boat that you can do is just go through that cooling system, make sure your engine's not going to overheat. So in the 2024 market, with the election coming up, I believe we're going to see the junk get junkier and the prices falling on that stuff. Do you agree with that, Harold? Uh, absolutely. Um, and then I believe that we're going to see that, I, the, I believe what we're going to see is like the value of that main ship. You're not going to be able to, like in the full-blown COVID market, that boat would have sold for nothing less than 250. So we've already taken that 30, it's already taken that $30,000 hit. Is it going to take another hit? No. There's too many. There's so. too many buyers out there. There's too many guys like Harold and Karen, like I said, retiring, uh, wanting to do the loop and looking for that unicorn. And when they find it, they will pull the trigger. They will buy the boat. And there's I got I have five of you in my phone right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if I when I find that boat that they're particularly looking for and it's in that kind of shape, it'll be sold within 15 to 20 minutes. It, Maybe it'll take a little longer than that because I have to come look at it. It's a, it's, it's a month long process yeah. buying a boat. Uh, you know that. Yes. <laughs> I can't wait till next week's video when we're talking about. Uh, don't start crying either, Errol. <laughs> it's only money. I know. Right. Because <laughs> you spent. Can't take it with you. No, you can't. And I know the whole process, and I know you spent in excess of ten thousand dollars in the search of the boat. Yeah. Uh, but also. You're seeing the advantage of, of looping on a smaller boat. That, that could be a whole other video for a whole other day because you're sitting over here in an anchorage where you can only draft like two and a half feet and you're sitting in that anchorage and you're by yourself and you're in a little bit more protected area because of that. Yes. But us, like me in Southern Estate here with that four and a half foot draft, I'm limited to what I can do. And, and me and Pete came in the same harbor just like you did last year. And we, um, you know, we kind of paid the price with this four and a half foot draft. It's always a trade-off. It is. There's always trade-offs for everything. Anyway, I hope you guys found some value to this market or to this video. Uh, I, you know, it's going to hurt some of your guys' feelings, especially you <laughs> sellers, you know, out there selling your junk. Uh, your prices are going to keep falling uh, this through the year here. I think we might see some stabilization after the election. We're going to really, you know, Trump comes in, it could, it could raise the prices slightly. Um, but I don't know neither because I think we're in a lot of this this new world of corporate greed and we've just squeezed everything out of everything. Does that make sense, Harold? So it I think does. people are are really uh, starting to uh, want to see the value for their money and they're being a lot more cautious and stuff like that. So if they don't see that value, they know that they're going to buy this boat. They know they're going to put that three, uh, it, the boat needs two to three hundred thousand dollars worth of work. They're not going to pay three hundred grand for that boat anymore. That I think those days are 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 behind us for the next few years till we get past all these election and we get into these different times. You know what I'm saying? I do. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, guys, peace out. Make sure uh, you're hitting that like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. And also, uh, if you're not a Patreon, you know I do appreciate it this year. I think last year my goal was uh, fifty. Uh, and this year, uh, with the Patreons, I think I want to try to get it up to 100 next year. Why not? Yeah, why not? Hey, why not? <laughs> anyway, uh, peace out. Uh, make sure you, uh, again, hit that like and subscribe. And share it with your friends. I do appreciate it. Captain Paul, peace out. Thank you, guys. And God be blessed. God bless you all. Thank you. Bye.